Wood is a versatile wood panel product. It is manufactured by assembling and bonding together an odd number of veneer layers with the direction of the timber grain in alternate layers perpendicular to each other. It is a widely acceptable panel material for a variety of uses due to its strength, nailing, sewing and aesthetic properties. It is also easy to work with. Welcome to this presentation of plywood making process. Lock selection Lock selection is the first part of the process. It involves careful identification and segregation of locks for face, back and core veneers in terms of species, physical geometry and quality. The prime object is to produce veneer from species with accepted physical and aesthetic characteristics. Conditioning To produce good veneer quality during peeling, logs of hardwood species are softened and conditioned by spraying with water. Cutting and debarking Conditioned logs are measured and marked to length for cross-cutting. Logs that have been cut to lengths are then fed into a debarking machine to remove the bark and improve cross-section roundness. Peeling The logs are now ready to be peeled into thin veneers. Veneers are produced by peeling the logs using either a 5-foot or 9-foot rotary lath machine. However, decorative face veneers are produced by slicing through the long diameter using a veneer slicer. The veneers can either be in the form of continuous sheets or immediately clipped into predetermined width and length. Clipping Veneer quality is one of the important factors in determining plywood grade. Defect veneers are removed by clipping off and burnt as boiler fuels. The clipping process results in some veneers having smaller surface area. To optimize timber utilization, these smaller size veneers are joined together to form standard 4 feet by 8 feet or 3 feet by 7 feet sheets. Veneer drying Green veneers are dried to improve bonding. It is done by conveying them at a controlled speed either through continuous or roller dryers. Phase veneers are normally dried through continuous dryer. The desired moisture content of acceptable veneers ranges between 6 to 14 percent. Heat for the dryers is generated from steam boilers fueled by mill residues like barks, peeler cores, rejected veneers and sawdust. Composer Dry and properly trimmed veneers are composed into final 4 feet by 8 feet sheets and segregated either as back, core or face veneers. The purpose is to make it easy to compose the plywood layout. The layout shall be controlled in terms of thickness, timber grain orientation, wood species and quality of the plies. Gluing the composed plies of veneers are bonded using adhesives. Types of adhesive to be applied depend on the intended use of the plywood produced. For example, general type plywood normally use urea formaldehyde resins and waterproof plywood use melamine or phenyl based adhesive. Prepared in the glue kitchen, the adhesive is spread uniformly on alternate layers of veneer by passing it through a mechanical glue spreader after which it is composed into panels in odd number layers. The number of veneer layers will determine the thickness of the final plywood. The thinnest of which is a 3mm 3-ply plywood and thickest is 25mm structural plywood. Cold press The composed panel is now ready for pre-press process in a cold press. Plies of composed panels are pressed at ambient temperature at a controlled hydraulic pressure. The pre-pressure cycle is about 20 minutes, after which the glue solidifies to bond the veneer plies in each panel. This process also helps to flatten the plywood. Hot press To achieve good bonding, the pre-press thermoset adhesive bond panel is cured under controlled heat and pressure. This is done by putting the pre-pressed panels into a hot press. 
the pressing cycle is directly proportionate to the temperature and pressure of the hot press. This process takes about 3 to 7 minutes. The time and temperature vary depending on the wood species, the veneer thickness machine used and plywood design. Quality control. Now the panel is ready for quality check. It is checked visually and tested for mechanical strength. Gaps on the panel surface are filled with putty. Samples are picked randomly to be tested for bonding strength, mechanical properties and formaldehyde emission level. This is important to ensure that plywood products from Sarawak always meet the stringent health, safety and environmental requirements of the importing countries. Trimming and Sanding The acceptable quality plywood is now ready for sanding to a smooth finished surface and uniform thickness. The panel can either be sanded on the face side or both face and back sides depending on market specifications after which it will be trimmed to its final size. Packing and Stacking Finally, the plywood are packed and stacked accordingly for shipment to both local and overseas markets. Sarawak is the major producer and exporter of plywood in Malaysia. Due to its strength, physical characteristics and aesthetics, plywood is commonly used in diverse climatic conditions in furniture making, building components, construction materials and shipbuilding industry. After watching this presentation, you should be able to understand and appreciate the process in making quality plywood that might affect every sphere of your everyday life.